In this video, we're going to look at solving factorised quadratic equations. So the first one here, we've got x, brackets x minus 4 equals 0. So when you've got two terms multiplied together to give 0, one of them at least must be 0. So the first step we need to do is, is to separate each term and make them equal to 0. So either x is going to be 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. And then we need to solve these two mini equations. So x equals 0, well that's already solved, or x minus 4 equals 0. Well, to solve that, to work out what x is, I need to move the 4 onto the other side by adding to both sides, and we're left with x equals 0 or x equals 4. Let's look at the next one. So again, set each term equal to 0. So we've got two terms multiplied to get 0, so one of them must at least be 0. So we're going to have y plus 2 is equal to 0, or we're going to have y minus 3 equal 0. Solve each mini equation. So take away 2 to both sides from this one, add 3 to both sides for this one. So let's do that, and we're going to get y equals negative 2 and y equals positive 3. They are the answers to that one. Okay, we move on to our last one here. So again, set each term equal to 0. So either 3x is going to be equal to 0 or 2x minus 5 is going to be equal to 0. Solve both of these mini equations. Well, uh, to get x on its own on the first one, I need to divide by 3. And on the second one, I need to get the number term on the other side of the letter term. So let's add 5 to both sides. So our next stage would be, well, 3x divided by uh, 3 is x. 0 divided by 3 is 0. And on the other one, we've got 2x is equal to 5. Now to get x on its own, I divide by 2. So I'm going to get x is equal to 5 over 2. So my answers for this one are x equals 0 and x equals 5 over 2.